Welcome to Z Media. I'm your host, and today we pay tribute to the remarkable lives of some beloved celebrities who left us on this day, July 30, 2024. From Hollywood icons to sports legends, their legacies continue to inspire us. Let's dive into their stories. Janet Andrewartha, best known for her iconic role as Lynn Scully on the long-running Australian Soap Neighbors, has left us at the age of 72. Her passing has left a void in the hearts of fans worldwide. Janet's portrayal of Lynn Scully was more than just acting. It was an embodiment of resilience, wit, and compassion. From Ramsey Street to our living rooms, she became a beloved fixture, weaving her way into the fabric of our lives. I had the privilege of sitting down with Janet a few years ago. She spoke candidly about her journey, her passion for the craft, and the camaraderie on set. Let's take a look. Being part of Neighbors was like having an extended family. Lynn Scully was a strong woman, a mother, a friend, and sometimes a confidant. I poured my heart into that character, and I'm grateful for the love and support from fans. Janet's impact extended beyond Neighbors. She also graced the gritty world of Prisoner, Cell Block H, where her portrayal of Reb Keen left an indelible mark. Her versatility knew no bounds. Janet was equally extraordinary. A passionate advocate for social justice, she used her platform to raise awareness about important causes. Her curiosity, eccentricity, and generosity endeared her to colleagues and fans alike. Social media has been flooded with tributes. Co-star Jackie Woodbird called Janet one of the finest actors of her generation, and Stefan Dennis, who played Paul Robinson, shared, We will all miss you, dear girl. Janet Andrewartha's legacy lives on through her work, her laughter, and the impact she had on those who knew her. Tonight, we honor her memory. Today, we pay tribute to a remarkable artist who touched our hearts and souls. Johnny Depp, the celebrated musician, has left us, but his legacy lives on. Johnny was more than just a musician. He was a poet, a storyteller, and a rebel. His soulful melodies resonated with millions around the world. Whether it was his honking ballads or electrifying rock anthems, Johnny's music transcended genres and connected us all. And today, as we remember Johnny, Let's celebrate his life, his passion, and his unwavering commitment to his art. From the smoky bars of New Orleans to sold-out stadiums, Johnny Depp's journey was nothing short of extraordinary. Born in the heart of the Mississippi Delta, Johnny's bluesy roots shaped his sound. His raspy voice carried the weight of life's joys and sorrows. Songs like Midnight Train and Whiskey Tears became anthems for a generation seeking solace. Johnny collaborated with legends Eric Clapton, Bonnie Raitt, and even the late Jeff Beck. Their duets were like conversations between old friends, weaving tales of love, loss, and redemption. On July 29, 2024, Johnny took the stage for the last time. His fingers danced across the frets, and his voice echoed through the amphitheater. Little did we know that this would be his farewell, a poignant goodbye to a lifetime of music. Tonight, we light candles in Johnny's memory. Let the flames flicker as we play his greatest hits, the ones that made us dance, cry, and believe in magic. Lulu Connor journey began in the quiet corners of creativity, where notes whispered secrets to her soul. She composed her life like a timeless ballad, weaving love, laughter, and longing into every stanza. Her melodies transcended mere sound. They painted vivid landscapes of hope and resilience. Today, as we mourn her untimely departure, we celebrate the legacy she leaves behind. Lulu's music wasn't confined to genres or labels. It flowed freely, like a river seeking the sea. Whether it was a smoky jazz club or a sun-kissed festival stage, Lulu's voice resonated, a harmonious blend of vulnerability and strength. Her lyrics were poetry etched on our hearts. They spoke of love lost and found, of dreams chasing sunsets, and of the quiet battles fought within. Lulu's guitar strings hummed with stories of late-night jam sessions, of laughter echoing through dimly lit studios, and of the magic that happens when artists collide. But Lulu wasn't just a musician, she was a beacon of compassion. Her charity concerts raised hope alongside funds, healing hearts with every chord struck. She believed that music could mend the fractures of our world, and she played her part with unwavering dedication. As the sun sets on Lulu's earthly journey, we remember her infectious laughter, her wild spirit, and the way she made us feel alive. She was more than a melody. She was a symphony of kindness, a crescendo of love. 
So, my friends, let us honor Lulu Connor by dancing to her tunes, by singing her lyrics under moonlit skies. Let her music be our solace, our refuge when life's storms rage. And as we say goodbye, let us echo her spirit. Live fully, love fiercely, and create melodies that resonate beyond the notes. John Anderson, the beloved referee of the iconic show Gladiators, has left us at the age of 92. His catchphrase, contender ready, gladiator ready, became part of our cultural fabric. But John was more than just a voice. He was a coach, a mentor, and a fighter. Beyond the glitz and glamour of television, John coached over 100 Olympic athletes. His dedication knew no bounds. He turned water into wine, pouring his heart into every athlete he trained. And he did it all without expecting a penny in return. David Moorcroft, who broke the 5,000 meters record in 1982, remembers John as a man who never took a step backward. Sheila Carey, Judy Simpson, and Liz McCaulgan all owe their success to his unwavering commitment. But it wasn't just athletes who admired him. Former Gladiator star Wolf Yes, the one who seemed like his nemesis on the show revealed that they were actually the best of friends. John's interactions with Wolf made the show what it was a thrilling battle of strength and wit. Mark Clattenburg, the current referee on the BBC's new Gladiator series, acknowledges the immense shoes he had to fill. John's iconic voice and rule-keeping prowess will forever inspire those who step into the arena. And Jennifer Stout, known as Rebel on Gladiators, sums it up. He was the best. He knew how to make us laugh and get mad too. Best memories. So, as we bid farewell to John Anderson, let's remember the man who made us believe in gladiators, both on and off the screen. His legacy lives on, echoing through the halls of competition and camaraderie. Benjamin Luxon, the British baritone, passed away on July 25, 2024, leaving behind a legacy that resonates far beyond the concert halls. Born in Redruth, Cornwall, Luxon's journey began at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. His voice, rich and resonant, captured audiences from an early age. At just 21, he clinched third prize at the 1961 ARD International Music Competition in Munich, an achievement that set the stage for his international acclaim. His collaboration with composer Benjamin Britten's English opera group took him to the Soviet Union, where he sang iconic roles in operas like Albert Herring and The Rape of Lucretia. Luxon's voice was a force, a blend of power and vulnerability that left listeners spellbound. His Glyn Byrne debut as Ulysses in Monteverdi's Il Ritorno d'Ulisse in Patria was nothing short of transcendent. Luxon graced stages across Europe, from Covent Garden to La Scala, leaving audiences in awe. But Luxon wasn't confined to opera houses. His recitals spanned centuries from early music to contemporary songs. He breathed life into forgotten parlor songs captivating viewers on BVC's The Good Old Days. His rendition of Give Me a Ticket to Heaven became legendary. Over a hundred recordings bear witness to his artistry. Luxon's voice danced through works by Britton, Vaughan Williams, and others. And his favorite piece, Thomas Tallis's Spem Alium, a choral masterpiece that echoed his soul. Tonight, we remember Benjamin Luxon the baritone who painted emotions with every note. His legacy lives on in the hearts of music lovers worldwide. Dabney Coleman's career spanned over six decades, gracing both the big screen and television. From the cantankerous boss in 9 to 5 to the quirky soap opera director in Tootsie, he brought depth and humor to every character he portrayed. But beyond the roles, Dabney Coleman was a man of curiosity, generosity, and wit. Coleman's daughter, Quincy, shared a heartfelt statement. My father crafted his time here on earth with a curious mind, a generous heart, and a soul on fire with passion. As he lived, he moved through this final act of his life with elegance, excellence, and mastery. Tonight, we celebrate Dabney Coleman's legacy. Let's take a moment to appreciate his unforgettable performances, the laughter he brought, and the impact he had on our lives. From the boardroom to the movie set, Dabney Coleman was a force to be reckoned with, his talent transcended generations, leaving an indelible mark on cinema. As we bid farewell to this remarkable artist, let us remember him not with tears, but with applause. Dabney Coleman, your spirit will live on through your work, your loved ones, and your legacy.